another day another problem so let's solve it hello guys i hope you are all doing well in this video we will solve the problem for some so let's get started by reading the problem given an array nums of n integers return an array of all the unique quadruplets such that nums a plus nums b plus nums c plus nums d is equal to the target you may return the n word in any order so to solve this problem we're going to use the two pointers technique for example let's say we have this list of integers and a target equal to zero as we know that the two pointers technique is applied only when the list is sorted so the first thing we're going to do is to sort the input list of integers then we're going to create a quadruplets array that's going to be the output at the end and where we're going to store the four numbers that if we sum up them they give us the target zero after that we're going to start looping throughout the input list two times so we can have four pointers inside the list means the index of the first loop going to be pointer at the first number in the list and the nested loop index gonna be pointing at the next number after the first index and we initialize two pointers left and right the left pointer gonna be pointing after the g variable and the right pointer be pointing at the numbers at the end of the list so at the first iteration we're gonna sum up the four pointers value and check if the sum is equal to the target if yes we append it to the quadruplets list if it's smaller we're gonna move the left pointer to the next number if it's bigger we move the right pointer to the previous number so here the sum is less than zero so we move the left pointer to the next number the same result we move the left again to the next number so here if we sum up the four values will give us the targets minus equal to zero so the first thing we're going to do is to push the four values as a list to the quadruplets array then we move the left to the next number and the right pointer to the previous number once the left passes the right pointer we stop iterating and we move to the next iteration so here we will have the g index to be 0 and we move the left to be the next number and we set the right pointer to be equal again to the last number inside the list. So the sum here is equal to the targets mean we're gonna group the four values inside the list and push them to the quadruplets array and move the left pointer to the next number and the right pointer to the previous number. Once the left meet the right pointer or pass the right pointer we stop iterating and move to the next iteration. So to avoid processing certain element in the list that we have already been processed and that are not valid so we're gonna add a condition if we have already checked for a value we don't need to do it again means if the g is equal to the g minus one value we move to the next iteration and we avoid repeating the same process so here we don't need to loop until the end of the list because we need four numbers so we move to the next iteration and we check if the sum is equal to the target yes so we push it to the quadruplets array and we move the right and left pointer the left gonna pass the right means we need to stop iterating and move to the next iteration now we have the g is equal to zero and the previous value it's the same so we don't need to check it again and we avoid it by stopping and move to the next iteration means we continue to the next iteration we have the sum bigger than the targets mean we need to move the right pointers but the pointer is gonna meet each other so we stop iterating and we don't need to move the outer loop because we want four values so we stop here and we return the result so let's jump as code in the solution first let's initialize a quadruplets output array then set a condition if the length of the nums is less than four return the empty quadruplets array then sort the input list after that we initialize an outer loop that's gonna stop iterating before three numbers and we set a condition to avoid processing elements that have already been processed in a previous iteration of the loop if i is bigger than zero and nums at index i is equal to the previous number we continue and we initialize an inner loop that's gonna start after the index of the outer loop and stop iterating before two values and set the same condition to avoid processing the same previous number then initialize two pointer left and right after that we sum up the four values And we check if the sum is equal to the target if yes we group the four values and push them to the quadruplets array and move the left pointer to the next number and the right pointer to the previous number 
and we add another condition that check if we have already been processing the number in the previous iteration we move the left pointer to the next number or for the right we move it to the previous number that help us to improve the performance of the code and also avoid generating duplicate results else if the sum is less than the target we move the left pointer to the next number else we move the right pointer to the previous number and finally we return the quadruplets array So this solution has a time complexity of n to the power of 3, means a cubic time, since it involves 3 nested loops. And it has a space complexity of O of 1, since the output array does not depend on the size of the input. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.